I'm David Dove with Palin Music Center. Today I have the 75th anniversary precision and jazz bass with this amazing unique finish, this diamond sparkle finish with a matching headstock on both of these. And I just love matching headstocks. I own three basses with matching headstocks. I'm just a huge sucker for them. And check out this unique neck plate with the big 75 in there. Mm, just can't beat that, that's cool. Uh, in this base, we have some unique pickups. Nash, could you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely, man. Uh, Tim Shaw, the guru behind Gibson, Fender, pretty much anybody at this point, uh, designed these pickups, and they're actually reminiscent of the Ventura 50s pickups. So if you loved that base but wanted a satin finish and, you know, this beautiful diamond finish on it, then, oh, yeah, yeah this will be right up your alley. Oh, man. And it feels, honestly... It feels just like my 65P bass. Uh, the neck is not too thin, but it's not real thick either. It just feels really nice on your hands. And I don't have big hands, and this is really easy to play. How about we do some sound samples? Alright, so now we're going to talk about the jazz bass here. I love a jazz bass. They have slightly thinner profile, so if you have a tricky passage and you need to play chords on something, this is a bass that can do it all. And it has so many voices. Whereas a P bass has one pickup, uh, this has two, volume, volume, and there have been so many great heroes who have played this bass. We all know and appreciate Jaco Pastorius. His sound was bridge pickup all the way up, neck pickup, just out. Uh, the tone on his bass was usually rolled up all the way. Uh, you can experiment with kind of a darker tone by just rolling it back just a little bit if it's too bright. Uh, of course, some other great players uh, that we should take notice of is Tim Comerford of Rage Against the Machine, who famously used a jazz bass for a bunch of their tunes. And he would have volumes both up so you get a kind of nice, bright, crunchy sound on the back, but this kind of almost P bass single coil sound in the neck. So let's do some sound samples. All right, so let's hear just the bridge pickup with the tone all the way up. Okay, so now I'm going to back off the tone just a hair, and you should hear a little bit of a drop off on the high end. Okay, so now let's add the neck pickup in, and this will darken up a little bit. So before I continue, I want to talk about what we're running through today. So we've got Aguilar Amplification here. We've got our Aguilar Tone Hammer 350 running into the 112. And look at this killer, killer Tortex. I mean, this is amazing. Anyways, um, and for our distortion, we're using the aggro over here. 
All right, this is just an amazing distortion that you're about to hear. And uh, I, miss, I mentioned Tim Comerford a second ago, so I'm going to play some of his stuff. And he generally uses a jazz bass. And I'm going to tell you one thing about a jazz bass. If you're running just the single coil in the back, you're going to get a little bit of that static. We can when we play it, it goes away. Or you put that up, oh, it's gone. Magic. Solve your buzzing problems just like that with single coils. All right, let's hear it. Thank you so much for watching. We'd love to see you again, so hit the like and the subscribe button. And please visit us in store at Palin Music Center or online anytime at palinmusic.com. Again, if you're like me and love Fender basses, you gotta check these out. So do yourself a favor and do that. All right.